What up, Huck Squad? Coming at you with a lefty in the bag. So it's gonna be a quick, short video. I don't throw many different discs, but before I actually get started, I wanna share some great news with you guys. I actually just got cleared from my 10 week hand appointment for my right hand today to go back to pretty much normal activities. Um, they didn't know that I was already throwing for the past like two weeks with my right hand, pretty much just putting and light throwing, but I did talk to them about it and they said that it's no problem as long as it wasn't hurting or causing any significant pain, but I did get cleared so I don't have to go back and get any more x-rays or go back for any more checkups now. Uh, it's just kind of like taking my time and letting things do its own healing process and just continuing to not rush back and try to go out there and flick a 400 foot distance driver. So just gonna slowly be working my way back into throwing as a righty and continuing to document that progress along the way. So hope you guys enjoy that little feedback and it's so, so awesome. I was so happy this morning when I left the doctors. So hope you guys enjoy that. Now we can hop right into the in the bag. It's gonna be pretty short, pretty brief. I'm actually gonna include some clips of me throwing these discs uh, in between like different disc selections. So hope you guys enjoy that little tidbit that I'm gonna add into this in the bag, but we can get right into it. Firstly, this has been one of my favorite discs actually as a lefty and it's a D-Line P1X and it's absolutely beat to crap. It is like, sorry, also sorry if you can hear the cars outdoors, but it is absolutely beat to crap. It is like probably three years old. I got it gifted to me from a friend and it was already kind of beat in at that point. And it's just a really, really good flip to flat putter. And it's just really been good for my lefty upshots because I haven't been able to give the disc a ton of spin and it kind of, adjusts uh, on my mistakes and just doesn't really go too far in any direction. Uh, so this D-Line P1X has been a huge, huge throwing putter for me uh, as a lefty. Yep. Next disc, which is actually how I taught myself how to play lefty for the first like two or three rounds, was this Psycho D-Line P2. And it taught me how to play lefty because it's just really straight. It's just really neutral. It doesn't have too much of a fade. It doesn't have too much of a turn. This red D-Line P1X has a lot of turn. And so when you throw it at a decent speed, it will flip over on you. But just a regular D-Line P, uh, P2, they're really great out of the box. They fly pretty straight. And right out of the box, they're actually pretty stable. Uh, this one was my righty throwing putter for a little while. So it already was a little bit beat in when I uh, transitioned over to throwing as a lefty. But it was great. It taught me how to throw lefty. I played two or three rounds with just this putter. And it just really teaches you how to adjust on your form and how to adjust on your little mistakes. So definitely recommend that you guys throw putters more often because it definitely helps with your form and just to learn what your mistakes are in your backhand form. Oh yeah. Uh, moving up to a new disc into the bag. It's the Exosoft Link. Uh, I have I've thrown it a couple times and I actually do really like it. I find that it's directly in between my P2 and my P3X, which is the next disc that I'm going to showcase. And when I first got it, I thought it would be a little more stable and a little closer to the P3X. And maybe the hard plastic would be, but the Exosoft plastic, it does hold pretty straight. There isn't much of a turn or much of a fade, but it is more stable than my D-Line P2. Um, and that partly could be because it has a bead on it, but it's really comfortable in the hand and I've had a couple good throws with it. So I'm going to keep it in the bag and I'm definitely going to see if when I go back to throwing as a righty, if it's going to stay in the bag. But so far, I like the link. I might have to try to get that hard plastic just because I really don't personally like the way the soft plastic feels and it already feels like it's kind of getting a little loose and concave, so I don't really like the way that that feels. Um, when I'm righty, I like to flick my BT hard harp, and a lot of people have offered, or not offered, but they've suggested that I move to a medium or soft, and I just, I really don't like the way that the plastic feels and how my thumb can press into it and it gets all concave. I feel like that same sort of thing will happen to this if I throw it a bunch. Uh, so I do most likely want to upgrade this to the uh, EXO hard plastic, but the link has been great so far. Yeah, dude. Moving up to one of my trusty uh, throwing putters being the S-Line P3X. Uh, sorry about the glare too off the window, you can't really even see anything. Not that there's really a stamp on this disc anyways, but 
This is an S-Line P3X. It is an amazing throwing putter. I recommend if you don't have an overstable throwing putter that you're really confident in. A lot of people throw like an AVR3 or something like that, but an S-Line P3X is an amazing throwing putter. It's shallow enough that it fits in your hand real good. It's got a little bit of a bead to help it fight that wind. And I've just found that this is just my most reliable um, upshot disc for, for upshots. You can throw it on a nice hyzer, it'll hold it the whole way. You can throw it nice and hard and flat and it's not gonna turn over for you. It'll slowly fade at the end. So the S-Line P3X, even when I'm a righty, is one of my favorite um, putter approach discs. So really recommend getting yourself an S-Line P3X. It's just, it just gets you out of so many tough spots and it fights wind like a champ. Oh my god, dude! Uh, moving up a little more, I've been throwing the Neo Method a little bit. I haven't thrown it too much, but as a righty, I don't really have many mid-ranges in my bag either. Actually, before I got hurt, I didn't have any mid-ranges in my bag. I went straight from my putters right to my uh, FD, my fairway driver. So being a lefty, I don't, I definitely liked having a mid-range in my bag because it allowed me to have a little more finesse in between my putter and my fairway driver. Uh, and the Neo method was great. It's pretty stable, but it was really straight out of the box and it does have a nice reliable fade at the end. I haven't thrown it enough to really beat it, beat it in or get it to change its flight at all, but I do like the way that it feels and I'm probably gonna keep it in my bag when I transition back to throwing as a righty again, just cause it's nice and straight and it does feel great and I just like the way the plastic feels. So I'll most likely keep this in my bag and who knows, it might even be like a decent flick disc cause it does feel pretty good in my hand on a flick too. But the Neo method is, I solid mid-range for anyone who's looking for like a straight to fade. Nothing over crazy overstable, definitely nothing that's gonna turn on you with high speed, but it's a solid, solid little mid-range. Uh, moving up into my fairway drivers. This was one of my favorite discs, even when I'm a righty, and it's my S-Line FD with the Borderland stamp. And this is definitely one of my straightest flying discs. Um, as a righty, it'll flip up perfectly and it'll go dead straight, it'll glide forever. Um, one of my favorite parts, or not parts, one of my favorite things about the FD that Dismania offers is that it just glides so far. I remember when I first got one, it just taught me how to throw a driver straight because it doesn't really go too far left or too far right. And if you put a good lick on it, it'll just flip up and just go forever. So I recommend if you're looking for a straight fairway driver to get an S-Line FD, they're just so great and they beat in so well. They start to flip a little bit for you and they just keep gliding. Um, and this has been awesome for my left hand. So. Sometimes I'll just want something to flip up and glide for a while and then stable out on me. It's definitely been more stable for me with my left hand than with my right, but it gets some good distance and it's been definitely a workhorse in my bag throughout most of this time uh, playing as a lefty. Safe rope. That was smashed. That was a smash, that dude. Was a smash. Go in! No way! No, oh my god. Moving up to probably my most thrown driver um, as a lefty, it's just, it's really worked well for me. And it's been the Neo Instinct. Um, it's just, I don't know what it is. I don't know really the difference. I don't know why I like it a little bit more than the FD for my left hand, but it's just been working really well. I've gotten a bunch of birdies with it. Not a bunch, but I've gotten a couple birdies with it. Um, gotten a couple birdies with it. It's just really trusty. Whenever I'm stepping up on the tee pad as a lefty and I need to just like hit a line with a driver, I just pull out my instinct. I don't really know why. It just has really been working for me. It goes really straight. The FD has a little bit more high speed turn where it'll flip up and glide and then go but the instinct if you just let it go flat it doesn't really turn and it's not really gonna hyzer flip up it's just gonna go and then crash at the end so i've really enjoyed this instinct it's been oh, probably my most thrown driver as a lefty 
and this neoplastic has just been great this this whole evolution line that Dismania has offered i didn't throw i didn't throw the discs that i had much with my right hand before i got hurt but when i got hurt this neoplastic and this evolution line has just really found a great place in my bag so i've had the link i've had the method i have the instinct and i have one more that i'll sh uh, touch on at the end but i've just been loving this evolution line it just has really been working for my arm speed with my left hand so the neo instinct is definitely great it's a little more stable than the fd so if you need something with just a little more bite or maybe to hold on to that headwind a little bit longer i would go with the instinct it's just been a great great disc for me and i can't say anything uh, better about it honestly This disc I put in my bag uh, a couple weeks ago. So if any of you guys have been following me, this is the uh, Blizzard G-Line, yeah, G-Line, no, sorry, C-Line Blizzard DD2. Um, it's like 150 grams or something, and this has just kind of been like a fun disc to throw. I, I was throwing a red Champion Beast, which was probably like five or six years old. It had a date on the back that it was checked into the Borderland Rangers office, and it was like July 14th. 2014 or something so I've at least had it for like five years and that disc was an awesome distance driver for me because it was so flippy and with my left hand if I put that thing out on a hyzer it would still roll all the way over and so I was learning how to like get some good distance out of that um, but unfortunately I lost it at Clement Farm in one of my episodes I think episode 138 on hole 10 it just turned all the way over and might have kicked off a tree to the left side and it just was gone. So I was like, crap, now I don't have like an understable high speed driver to throw. So I knew that I had like 150 gram Blizzard DD2 laying around my house and I was like, I'll give that a go. And it hasn't been amazing, but it hasn't been terrible. I've had some pretty good throws with it and it's just been fun throwing like a flippy 13 speed, 150 gram driver. Like it's just such a, I don't even know, it's just such a contradiction. It's such a contradiction. So it's just been a weird disc to throw and it's been a weird disc to have in my bag, but I have thrown it a couple times and it has definitely served some, some value. Perfect. And lastly, moving into my last disc from the Evolution line, it is the Neo Enigma. And this has also been, surprisingly, I thought it was going to be a little bit more of a meat hook for my like weak left arm, but it's been pretty good. Um, I got some good distance on it on the shots that I've thrown with it. It hasn't really came out of my hand erratically. I tried one like really tough lefty like turnover force over line that it just didn't work on. But other than that, a couple normal throws that I've had, it's really trusty. Uh, I can't really give like an accurate representation of how far it flies because I don't really have the most power as a lefty. But one of my friends, Alex, threw it on hole 11 at Maple and it just went forever. Like it held so long and then finally came back at the end. He ended up being like pin high and it's like a 450 foot hole. So that was really cool to see. Oh, that's holding pretty nice. That was a smush. The Neo Enigma has been great and I just I just love the way that it feels. I don't know, it feels just like a destroyer, but it feels a little bit different and this Neo Plastic is just slightly different than Star Plastic that Innova offers. So I like this disc a lot. I was considering giving it away. I know a couple of you commented in one of my last videos that you want me to give it away, but just seeing how it flies for some of my friends and seeing like just feeling how it feels in my hand for a flick. I just feel like I'm gonna be able to smash this thing once I'm able to throw righty again. So I'm gonna hold on to this Enigma and I definitely like it. I love the way it feels. It's got a great silhouette. It's just a, it's just a great looking disc. So I think it's just got one, I think the fade is one number off compared to a destroyer. I think a destroyer is 12, five, negative one, three, and this is 12, five, negative one, two. So it doesn't have as hard of a fade at the end of the flight, but the Neo Enigma has been kind of a great, uh, meat hook ish distance driver for me right now. So I can't wait to throw this thing righty once I'm able to pump drives again um, I think that's it. I got one two three four five six seven eight nine. I've only been throwing nine discs Yeah, I've only been throwing roughly nine or ten discs this whole time that I've been lefty and Honestly for the first like month month and a half I was only throwing like 
three or four discs. I wasn't even like doing much crazy. I was throwing my two putters and then I was throwing like my FD and like my instinct. I didn't even have any distance drivers because I didn't have the arm speed or form for it. Uh, I'm still putting with the D-Line P2s, the nice little Huck Squad stamp. So nothing's changed there. Nothing's changed with my bag, still my luxury E3. And yeah, just a quick little update video for you guys. Just really wanted to share that good news that I got about my hand too. I can't wait to just start throwing righty again and crushing flicks and crushing backhands and slowly just progressing to be back where I used to be. I really hope that my game ends up being able to be like at the point that it was before I got injured. And hopefully once I get nice and strong, I can even use some of these lessons that I've learned as a lefty and transition them over like throwing a little bit more understable. As a righty, normally, I don't really have anything understable in my bag. Everything's stable. I just throw really hard and I try to get the disc to work for me. But I think it might be time to get some understable discs in my bag when I return to a righty and either keep that Neo method in my bag or find some sort of mid-range that works for me because I found that it is good to have a mid-range in your bag for that distance in between your putter and your fairway. Sometimes I'd take out my P3X and just feel like it's a little too less for what I need. And then I'd take out like my FD and I'd be like, eh, this is a little too much for what I need. So I do need to find a mid-range that I feel comfortable with with my right hand, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be the method. I'll have to test it out as I'm getting more distance and finesse back with my right hand. But just a quick little update video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, drop that like, drop a comment, drop a sub. I got plenty of more content coming for you guys for the rest of the summer, the fall, the winter. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I look forward to just slowly returning as a ready player. So I'll see you guys next episode.